Now in this lesson, we're going to learn what happens when a vector is multiplied by a real number, uh, by, by uh, any you know, positive or negative or any kind of number, what happens and, and in that case that we're gonna learn, all right? Let's say I have, I have a vector A, all right? Let's say this is vector A. And what happens when I'm going to multiply this vector A by, let's say, by, by uh, a number n, all right? When this n is going to multiply this vector A, then that vector is going to be n times of that initial vector A, keep in mind, all right? So when a vector A is multiplied by n, then the new vector it will form, and that is n times, n times in magnitude, in magnitude, n times in magnitude of vector A and having same direction, having same direction of A. So whenever we multiply any vector by any number, all right, any real number like, like 2, 3, minus 5, minus 8, 10, whatever you multiply, then that times you're going to get a new vector which is n times, means the number times in the magnitude of A Right, the magnitude will be different, but the but the direction will be same. So whenever a number is multiplied, magnitude changes. Keep in mind, magnitude get changed. Magnitude changes, but direction is same. Keep in mind, direction is same. All right. So let's say I have a vector here. Let's say let's say this is my vector. Let's say this is my vector p. All right. This is the starting point and this is the ending point. So if I'm going to multiply this vector by two times, all right, so what is the vector 2p represent? So the vector 2p represents a new vector which is double in magnitude, which is twice in magnitude of the vector p. This is one, let's say, and this is another. So which is double in magnitude, all right? So this is 2p vector, which is just twice of the magnitude of the initial vector p, but direction is again same. All right, so this is vector p and this is twice of vector p, but both of them has the same magnitude. And what happens if, if I'm multiplying the vector p, uh, let's say by minus three. So minus three also a real number, then that time uh, it is going to be three times bigger, you know, in magnitude. Let's say from here to here one time, two time, and three time, all right? So this is again vector, sorry, not the direction like that. So this is vector, 3p minus and the direction will be just opposite here just this minus represents just the opposite direction while the magnitude you know whenever we find out the magnitude of anything just we give the modulus value and that's going to be three times the magnitude of the p all right so whatever the magnitude p had that is being multiplied by three times so it has been three times bigger than the p but in opposite direction that is the meaning of you know uh, when whenever a vector is multiplied by any any number all right Let's take an example. Let's say, let's say I have a vector. Let's say I have a vector p equals to let's say two i plus three z. All right. This is the this is the vector. And if I'm going to multiply this vector, let's say by four times. All right. So what is this four times p represent? It means four times two i plus three z. All right. So simply you can say four times eight i and four times three that is twelve j that's it all right if you look in the graph then it is something like this if this is x-axis and if this is y-axis this is origin the initial p vector all right that is let's say first let me make the sections 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 all right so the initial vector is 2i and 3z all right so First, let me go 2i and then 3z. 3z is here, all right? So this is x component 2i, all right? And this is y component 3z. So this vector, this is vector p, you know? Uh, if this is point p, then this is representing, this op is representing the vector p, all right? Which is 2i, 3z, all right? So now, if I want to write this is 2i, 3z, and now if I want to write the 4p vector, then it is 8i and 12z, all right? So let's go 8i, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all right? 
so it's 8i uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 sorry here till here it's 8i all right it's all together 8i and then we have 12j so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it's here all right so let's let's connect this so this is 12j all right and this will be you know this will be setting like this all right so this is vector for p all right see now if you see in this you know uh, the direction is again same both of the vector is having the same direction but if you see the magnitude like say this is one time two time three time and then four time so just magnitude get four times the initial vector all right so simply we will understand that whenever a vector is multiplied by any scalar number or any number then the magnitude get that number times but the direction still remains same but if we are multiplying with the negative numbers then that time the reverse just just the direction get reversed just get oppositely 